Environmental change from human activity has had wide-ranging impacts on global ecosystems, with effects magnified here in the North. Climate change, the altering of landscapes, and the severing of intact habitat is leading to increased biodiversity loss. Smart planning and thoughtful decisions need to be made to protect places important for both people and wildlife. When Seike Dene Nation is consulted about developments in their territory, it can be a challenge to determine how a proposed project and its impacts fit into the larger landscape puzzle. Without informed decision-making, important habitats, cultural areas, or wildlife movement corridors could be lost. My name is Christopher Morgan, and I'm a master's student at UNBC helping lead this project. With support from MITAX and the Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Initiative, I am working with the nation to develop a planning tool that identifies which portions of the territory hold the greatest conservation value, both ecologically and culturally. Partnering with researchers from the University of Northern British Columbia, Chucho Environmental and Seike Dene Nation are working on a collaborative systematic conservation planning project as a holistic way of assessing greater Seike Dene territory. To do this, we first articulated the nation's conservation goals related to healthy ecosystems, priority species, and a desire to protect resilient lands for future generations. We then gathered environmental data on key wildlife habitat, climate change, and landscape connectivity, all while interweaving the community's values as an equally important aspect of identifying potential areas for conservation. Wildlife habitat data for species like moose, grizzly bear, and caribou were compiled from a variety of sources, including the provincial government, university researchers, and traditional ecological knowledge of the Seke Dene. Climate change data was used to identify areas predicted to serve as safe havens for wildlife as the planet warms, such as cool headwaters at high elevations. My name is Pam Wright, and I'm an ecosystem scientist at the University of Northern British Columbia. Our collaborative approach is to not only incorporate community source data in conservation planning, but also indigenous values, priorities, and perspectives throughout the process. In working with Chucho Environmental and the nation's lands, resources, and treaty operations office, the intention is that the nation will be able to use the tool over the long term and continue to adapt, expand, and apply it. Using data on human development, land cover, and slope, we also quantified the level of resistance animals face when traveling across the landscape. This informed a connectivity analysis that helped us identify pinch points as well as broader intact areas important for movement. Despite increasing pressures on the land, nation-led conservation efforts are ongoing. This planning project has produced a powerful decision-making tool that will only strengthen those efforts. Our work will not only allow resource extraction referrals to be assessed in a more systematic fashion, but also help identify crucial areas for targeted conservation efforts. This project will help lay the foundation for informed land use decisions that support biodiversity and the community's needs into the future.